During this brief video, I'll define Gateway Antivirus, explain how to set up and use Gateway Antivirus and Intelligent AV, and I'll show you how Gateway Antivirus and WatchGuard Dimension work together to keep you informed about virus activity on your network. Hackers and cyber criminals have plenty of ways to attack computers and networks. Viruses, including worms and trojans, are malicious computer programs that self-replicate and put copies of themselves into executable code or documents. When a computer is infected, the virus can destroy files or record keystrokes. Needless to say, hackers logging your user's keystrokes is anything but secure. The best way to defend your network from infections and keylogging is with prevention. Gateway Antivirus, or Gateway AV, is a fully integrated security subscription for your Firebox that can help you protect your network from these types of attacks. Gateway AV works in tandem with your Firebox to provide real-time protection against viruses, trojans, worms, spyware, and rogueware. Gateway AV scans traffic on all major protocols using continually updated signatures to detect and block all types of malware. Because Gateway AV is integrated with your Firebox, you have an easy-to-manage, cost-effective solution without additional hardware to purchase and maintain. There are two ways you can activate Gateway AV, with the Gateway Antivirus Wizard and from within your proxy policies themselves. I'll show you how to use the wizard in this video. To learn more about activating Gateway Antivirus from within proxy policies, see Fireware Help. When you use the Activate Gateway Antivirus Wizard, you can create proxy policies and enable Gateway AV for several proxies at the same time. If you plan to use Gateway AV for more than one proxy, you'll definitely save time by using the wizard. To start the wizard, from WatchGuard System Manager, select the Firebox on which you want to enable Gateway AV, open Policy Manager, and then navigate to the wizard, like this. This dialog box shows policies in your configuration file for which you can enable Gateway AV. As you can see here, Gateway AV is not currently enabled for my HTTP, POP3, and SMTP proxy policies, so the wizard will enable Gateway AV for those policies. If you don't want the wizard to enable Gateway AV for a specific policy, clear the checkbox in the Select column. Here you can create new proxy policies that use Gateway Antivirus. I want to enforce Gateway AV for FTP traffic, so I'll select this checkbox before clicking Next. To verify and customize what actions the Gateway AV service will take when it finds a virus, click here before clicking Finish. Now that Gateway Antivirus is activated, I can start configuring it. To get started, I'll select the policy I want to look more closely at. In this case, it's the HTTP proxy policy. Here is where you select the action Gateway AV will take if a virus is detected in a file, web page, or web upload. WatchGuard has done our best to provide you with smart default settings but you may want to choose different actions that work better in your environment. The actions available in this list depend upon the type of proxy policy you're configuring. For example, you can quarantine email, but not a website. Use this drop-down list to select the action Gateway AV will take when it can't scan an object or an attachment, such as a password-protected zip file. Use this drop-down list to select the action Gateway AV will take when the content is larger than the scan size limit. Use this drop-down list to select the action to take when Gateway AV can't scan a file because it's encrypted. When Gateway AV is enabled, it only scans files that are smaller than a specified size. This size limit allows the proxy to not scan very large files, which could impact performance. I'll go into more detail about AV scan limits later on. If you choose not to use the default, you can change the file scan limit here. I want to point out that if you enable DLP and Gateway Antivirus for the same proxy action, the larger configured scan limit is used for both services. In addition, the scan limit also controls the maximum size of files that APT Blocker sends for analysis. 
APT Blocker can analyze files up to 10 megabytes in size. If you want Gateway AV to generate a log message and trigger an alarm when it detects a virus, make sure these checkboxes are selected. For information about how to configure alarm notifications for AV actions and how to set logging and notification preferences, see Fireware Help. Repeat these steps for any remaining proxy policies you want to configure Gateway AV for. Before these changes can take effect, the configuration file must be saved to the device. As I mentioned earlier, when Gateway AV is enabled, it only scans files that are smaller than a specified file size, which allows the proxy to keep the performance impact low. Here are a few examples of the device-specific scan limits. Remember that most malware is delivered in files smaller than 1 megabyte in size, so larger files are less likely to spread quickly in a viral manner. Because of this, we recommend that you use the default scan limit setting for your device. If you increase the scan limit, Gateway AV scans larger files and that could result in fewer concurrent connections through your Firebox. If you use Gateway AV with your HTTP proxy, there are some great tips and tricks to help keep file scanning from impacting the performance of your Firebox in the Optimized Gateway Antivirus for HTTP Traffic video tutorial. I'll include a link to that video at the end of this one. To add another layer of protection to Gateway AV, you can enable the Intelligent AV service, which is available on the latest generation of M-Series devices, Firebox Cloud, and Firebox V. Intelligent AV uses artificial intelligence and machine learning to provide protection against evolving malware. Intelligent AV is trained to identify threats by examining millions of files for characteristics of malicious intent. The result is a series of algorithms that can determine whether a file is safe to run before it's executed. Because it doesn't rely on signatures to identify malware, Intelligent AV can prevent both known and unknown or zero-day threats. When you enable Intelligent AV, Gateway AV uses two scan engines that work together to detect and block malware before it can enter your network. First, Gateway AV scans a file with its anti-malware engine. If Gateway AV does not detect a virus and Intelligent AV is enabled, Intelligent AV then analyzes the file. When Intelligent AV identifies a file as a threat, the Firebox takes the Gateway AV action associated with the file type and proxy type. To enable Intelligent AV, click here. If your Firebox is running Fireware version 12.2 and higher, click here to enable Intelligent AV. If you see this warning, click here to enable automatic updates for the Intelligent AV engine. To make sure that Intelligent AV provides the best protection, select this checkbox. This is where you can specify the number of hours between the automatic updates. I'll go ahead and accept the default of 1. Intelligent AV, Gateway AV, IPS, Application Control, and Data Loss Prevention all use the same update server, which is why you see all of these checkboxes here. When you configure the update server for any of these subscription services, the settings apply to the security services selected here. It's important to point out that your Firebox must be able to connect to the update server, and to do that, you must add at least one DNS server to your network configuration. For more information about DNS servers, see Fireware Help. I want as many automatic updates as possible, so I'll select all of these checkboxes. Of course, the last thing to do is save these changes to your Firebox. To see Gateway Antivirus working for you, take a look at WatchGuard Dimension. With Dimension, you can prove the worth of your Gateway Antivirus investment, as well as help ensure your company is HIPAA and PCI compliance. WatchGuard Dimension includes predefined reports that are automatically generated from the log message data from your Firebox, Fire Clusters, and WatchGuard servers. To review which threats Gateway Antivirus has blocked, in WatchGuard Dimension, navigate to the Services Reports. Using Dimension along with Gateway AV provides you as a network administrator with full visibility of any network threats that Gateway AV has blocked for you. 
All you need to do is make sure that you've correctly set up logging and that you've configured logging in the policies for which you've enabled Gateway AV. For more information about Dimension, see FireWare Help. To learn more about Gateway Antivirus, visit the WatchGuard website.